Let's move on to qualifying offers. The club has made qualifying offers to defenseman Kalen Addison, and they were pretty stern saying that he will take that deal. Uh, forward Brandon Duhame. Oh, yes. Come on, Duhame. Please stay with the club. And goaltender Philip Gustafson. I imagine all three will sign. The only one I'm a little wary of, to be honest, is Kalen Addison. Now, is he going anywhere else? Did anyone offer him anything? No, but does he force a trade given the way he was handled last season? I think there might still be, there might still be a chance that that happens. I mean, you think his his pissed. I mean, his representatives are probably pissed as well. His family's probably pissed. You know, the, his camp, his people probably aren't happy with the Minnesota Wild and aren't going to let them bully a son. They're not <laughs> only like two MMA fans. will will understand that uh, reference. They're just slipped out folks. <laughs> They're not going to let him bully him into signing a, a shitty contract when they were the one who hampered his development last year. I don't know. It's a very interesting situation. Again, I'm sure Hoppy will have more to say on that. I'm sure Z will have more to say on that. So check out Judd's Buds live on the Soda Pod YouTube channel, 6 p.m. Central Time on Thursday or first thing Friday morning on your podcast app. Overall, I imagine the Wild are going to get lock all three of them up that there's not going to be any issues here. The the one that I will say I'm a, I'm a little less confident on is Kalen Addison, given the whole situation around him. The Wild did not make quali- qualifying offers to forwards Damien Giroux, Mason Shaw, and obviously Sam Steele, who was picked up by the Dallas Stars. A lot of people are up in arms with Mason Shaw. Look, the guy's, the guy's injured for, what, half the season? Didn't he have to get surgery? Like, it's not like many other teams are going to go after him right now, too. And I'm sure the Wild are going to take care of him. I'm sure the Wild are setting him up with, you know, the best doctors or whatever. And maybe they bring him back if he's all good. But why give a guy a contract who you don't even know how his surgery is going to go? You don't even know how long he's going to be out, right? There's always there's always a chance there's complications with surgery. There's always a chance that, you know, sometimes you can come back early from surgery. Like, you know, look at Patrick Kane right now in his, in his rehab. And he's yet to sign with the team. We don't know how it's going to go for Mason Shaw. And he's clearly not a priority and i don't say that with disrespect it's it's just a fact i mean ryan reeves is more priority than him let's be honest (laughs) oh some of our friends hadn't turned off the podcast already they have now